What's going on everyone? In this video we will be discussing how you can improve your aim in Apex Legends to get ready for Season 6. First and foremost, thank you to everyone liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. If you haven't done that yet, make sure to go subscribe right now. Aiming at Apex is fairly tricky for some of you due to recoil of these guns being more than in a lot of games out right now. So here are some tips on how you can help yourself get control of these guns and improve your aim. First tip is to spend some time in the training arena. Practice using every gun. First thing to look at to get an idea of how to use these guns is to go onto a wall and just shoot at the wall and see where the recoil pattern goes. You will notice a pattern that the gun creates due to the recoil and some guns have a smaller recoil and some have a larger recoil. Light ammo weapons tend to have the least amount of recoil and energy ammo weapons tend to have the most, but this isn't a for sure thing, so make sure you still test these guns out. Learn each gun's recoil and then practice to control it by shooting bullet holes only in one spot. The more you practice this, the better you will become at understanding each gun's recoil and how to mitigate it. Next you want to practice by shooting at targets. Initially just work on controlling the recoil but then work on following the moving targets a little bit further away. It's easy to hit targets that are close and aren't moving. See how much damage you could put into those moving targets. Next, you'll want to work on moving and shooting. So throw in crouching, strafing, slide into a jump, and then fire at targets that you aren't already pre-aiming at for five seconds. Be creative in this portion. You want to make the shots a little uncomfortable for you to just line up and shoot. Of course your sensitivity is going to play a major role. When messing with your sensitivity, you want to make sure your base sensitivity is on point. The best way to get this right is to hip fire your weapon at targets making sure that your crosshair is optimally placed. Practice moving around, keeping your crosshair on an enemy whether you back up, move forward, or strafe right to left. Practice jumping and sliding around then flicking your crosshair onto a target. This is best if you use a shotgun so that the shot doesn't have bloom when you shoot at the target. Make sure when you are doing this that you test out several sensitivities. Start high and move your way down to something that feels comfortable to you. Higher sensitivities are always going to give you the advantage in shooters, especially with overall movement and shotgun flicks, of course, if you can control them. After that, you can mess around with your ADS sensitivity using the same steps. When you are firing at a target, try to see if you can control the recoil. If the recoil is causing your aim to go all over the place, then you might want to lower your sensitivity a little bit. One way to find a sense that doesn't involve a bunch of trial and error is the PSA method. What the PSA method is, is essentially an algorithm that uses your input to come up with a value that should be your optimal sensitivity. First thing to do is click the link in the description below and that will take you to the PSA method site. Next, while you're in the training arena, Set your crosshair parallel to the ground and see if you can make a 360 degree circle perfectly. If you over or undershoot it, then lower or higher your sensitivity until you are able to make that perfect 360 degree circle. Now put that sensitivity into the PSA method calculator. It will then pop up with a higher and lower sensitivity for you to try. Make sure you try both by shooting at targets and focusing on controlling recoil of the guns then tell the algorithm which one you like more. Then it will give you a new base value with higher and lower values. Make sure to try out the base value to see if you like it, then try the higher or lower sensitivities to see which one you like more. Continue to repeat this step until you find a sensitivity that you are most comfortable with. At any time if you find one of the base values being more comfortable than anything else that you tried, by all means, use it. Other than that, it should take about six to eight tries for it to pop out a definitive sensitivity for you, and then voila, you have your new optimal sensitivity that should help with your aiming. So thank you for watching the video. Just to wrap up my points, make sure that you focus on recoil, make sure to utilize the training arena, make sure you practice moving and shooting, and finally, make sure you have a sensitivity that you're comfortable with and can control. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on. And let me know with a comment down below if there are any other topics in Apex Legends that you would like me to cover. Have a great day.